Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's, where you can sign up to be a member of the Shannon's Club, your local Holden Certified Service Centre, Pace Farm the Enjoyable Egg, and Heron Forbes Machinery House, where you can buy online. G'day, I'm Fletch and welcome as I bring you back to the beautiful Portland in Victoria for the 2023 Portland Classic Show and Shine in this week's Classic Restos on the road. How good is this back at Portland? This is the eighth year of this event, seven of those years at this location, which just reflects the professionalism of Portland's greatest classic vehicle show. And when Nick and the Shannon Super Rig turns up, that is even extra special. Portland show is a bit of a chestnut to classic restos. It's the car club, the people, and of course this gorgeous town by the sea that keeps bringing me back. It's like as though there's a strong magnet in the sand and the fletchy belt buckle is drawn back every year. Located on the southwest coast of Victoria, it's the site of Victoria's first permanent European settlement. It has more than 200 19th century buildings, many made of bluestone. The Portland Cable Tram travels along the foreshore, past the Portland Botanic Gardens that was established in 1857, and you can go there and grab a ride. There's just so much to do here in the Portal Seaside Town. But once a year, you know why I'm here. This is the Portland Classic Show and Shine, and it's one of the best vehicle events you will see in the Southern Hemisphere. Now when it comes to some of life's inspirations, this is a perfect example. How are you, Doug? Yeah, not bad, Fletch. Yeah, good. That's good. I'm so pleased you made it to the Portland show for this year. Yeah, yeah, first time. Okay, now, Doug, you've got some very clever work going on here with your EH wagon. Uh, very special work. Would you like to share with us uh, the story? Uh, well, turned 50, thought I'd help myself out and give myself the EH. My uh, brother had one, so I thought I'd join the club. Talked about putting the wheelchair accessible stuff in it, and yeah, well, it's five years, six years in the making, and yep. yeah. Now, being quadriplegic, how did it happen? Uh, June buggy accident. Yeah, just tipped it over and had all the safety gear on, but yeah. that's life, you know. How long ago, Doug? Uh, 27, 27 years. Yeah. And the car's been engineered uh, f for Doug to be able to get into the car, drive the car, correct? Yeah, get in the passenger side, yeah. Okay. yeah. So the passenger seat, it comes out, right? Yeah, yeah, it's all remote, all comes out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, in the back of the wagon, the crane system to get the wheelchair out as well, it's a really neat job. Yeah. Uh, the way they've designed this in the back of, of the wagon, it's a great job, Doug. Yeah, yeah, they've done a brilliant job, brilliant job, yeah. yeah. Now, Doug, talk about best of both worlds. You can enjoy the EH. You can get around to all the car shows. How cool is that? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's yeah. pretty cool. Now, Doug, before I let you go, would you consider yourself a Holden legend? Oh, of course. Yeah, you would, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah of okay, course. Well, just, okay, well, just because of that, from our very good friends and advertising sponsors of the show, General Motors Australia, I'd like to present this Holden Legends pack to you, Doug. Oh, you're joking. Oh, thanks, Fletch. These packs are available online, yep. and uh, there's some nice little bits and pieces in there uh, for your man cave at home, uh, oh, for, your for your memorabilia section, and I uh, thought you might like that. Thank you. Thanks for that, Fletch. All right. Thanks, Holden. <laughs> Cheers, Doug. See ya. Moving on through the Portland Classic Show and Shine for 2023. What an event. And we have Skiddy's Diesel Services, big sponsors of this show. And we've got a little caged area here where we're filming this year. And Skiddy's have got their, their little uh, uh, flags there, um, keeping all the people out. What do you think of that, Mark? Good, thanks, Fletch. 
Real good. You think it's good? Yes, it, it is. It's good they're keeping the people out, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. that's it. <laughs> All right, now, you've got something very special behind us here. I love this sort of stuff because I've just got this number plate pictured in my mind, A-Z-F-O-U-N-D, as found, because that's exactly that's what this what vehicle is. is, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's how we found it. Uh, like, well, the bloke I boarded off put four spark plugs in it to get it to start. And yeah, and well, we've, I think I've had it 10 years now. So tell us, what is it, Mark? What's the year model and what's the make? Uh, it's a Dodge Brothers 1925 pickup. And where did you find it? Uh, two Ks out of Haywood. Okay, and, uh, so for the people watching the show, uh, Haywood, how far from here? Uh, 20, 25 Ks, 30 Ks from here, yeah. yeah. And where was the vehicle sold new, Mark? Uh, Dimbola, in, I'm not uh, sure yeah. what, but I'm yeah. not sure about that either. Yeah. Uh, but that's probably about what another 50 k's from here. No, nah, it'd be about 250. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so 250 k. So it's always been well, I guess relatively a, a local car yeah, within well, that within that well, circle. Well, it come down here in um, 37. Right. In Portland yeah. itself. That's amazing, Mark. Tell us about the storyboard you've got in the front here. Uh, it's the actual rego papers of the vehicle itself and yeah we've just added the extra couple of names to it just to so it makes it look like it's going along yeah. and yeah and I'd say the young bloke will end up with it. Talking of the young bloke he's sitting over the back there he's sitting behind the steering wheel he's keen. Yeah you're not wrong there. What's his nickname? Wally. Wally. Yeah yeah Anthony's his real name but Wally's his nickname. Hey give us a wave Wally. There you go it's Wally. In a wave. Yeah. I think it's amazing that the vehicle is in, uh, well, such original condition. Uh, back in the days where the sayings come from, like if something's flat out, like flat to the boards, you know, yep. flat to the boards, and uh, back in the days when you literally had timber floorboards floor yeah. as as the floor, floor pan. Board. Yeah, yeah, and that's what it's got. Yeah, it's it hasn't got its original seat, but yeah, as we actually got the original doors, but they're no good to hang on there as they stay open. <laughs> so, what powers it up front, Mark? What size engine uh, are we looking at? Well, uh, seven, about 17 horsepower, I think. Yeah, yeah. long stroke four cylinder. Yeah, it is. Yep. Good on you. That's awesome stuff. Okay, Mark. Well, look, you've made the caged area here at Portland, so. Uh, if you've made it in here into this section, you've done well this year. Not so a thank you. It's okay. It's been a pleasure having you on the show, and thank you for yourself and Wally to bring this original old timer in here. And uh, yeah, I just love this. It's no, uh, it just imagine if if only it could talk. Yes, that's right. As what history it's actually got. And good on you, Mark. Thanks again. Not a problem. Thank you, Fletch. Every weekend around Australia. Motoring enthusiasts get together to share their passion for cars and bikes. It's a passion that brings us together. All sorts of people. All sorts of cars and bikes. From the classics of today to the classics of tomorrow. At Shannon's, we understand enthusiasts. So when it comes to insurance, it's got to be Shannon's. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. When it comes to cars, there are some brands that will remain with us forever, no matter what. The Holden was always Australia's own car, held high in the hearts of many. Those lines, that chrome, the stories around them and the people that owned them. From the classic through to the final, you can still trust in genuine Holden and AC Delco parts, available through the Holden Certified Service Network. Have a look for your nearest Holden Certified Service Centre at holden.com.au and let's keep supporting Australia's own. And next in the... Uh the Fletchy Caged Pavilion here at Portland for 2023. How are you, Brad? Yeah, I'm good, Fletch. Yourself? Good, mate. Good. You've got a lovely story here. I had to pounce on you. I love this car. There's something about a plain Falcon. Uh, you've got the steel wheels. Uh, it's got the stock look. The XW, a great model Falcon. A nice road-driving car. It is. They always drove well back in their time. Yeah. Um, you love this, don't you? I do love this car. This is a, has a very special place in my heart. This car it was my dad's. He brought it brand new in 1970 and uh, he sadly passed about two or two and a half years ago and uh, so yeah. I've just 
been doing it up, well not doing it up, it was, uh, it was registered right up until 2006 I think, yeah. road registered. Yeah. Um, so actually to get it on the road didn't take a great deal but I've had it repainted and yeah. just, yeah it does, it means a special special bit to me. I think you keeping it that way in tribute of your dad as well is uh, is really is really special. Um, as soon as I saw the car and I saw the larger rubber on the back I thought oh okay because X, XW a uh, transition between well, Windsor and then the Cleveland coming in I thought to myself well it's either got one of those in it but no it's got the they still got the 3.6, the 221 cube engine. I love what you've done there, and it's the first time that I've seen an exhaust manifold on one of these old Falcon 6s like this, Brad. It's really neat. Yeah, it's uh, just something, again, I wanted to just put a little bit of bling with it, to be honest. As I said, try and keep it as, uh, as original as possible, but just with a little bit of shine, a little, yeah. bit, of, a little bit of something of my own yeah. as well. Yeah. No, they're tough as nails, these things. The, uh, the, the Ironhead uh, Falcon 6, always a fantastic engine. Now, inside the upholstery, the seats look good. It's had some paint on the outside, but, hey, you've, you've just taken us all back to 1970. Thanks, Fletch. Yeah, look, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Just keep it normal, you know, the bench seats. Yeah. I've had them, obviously, reupholstered, and uh, it, it actually originally come out with the, uh, the lino-type stuff, so yes, I put yes. carpet in there. Just, again, a little bit more comfort more yes. than anything. Yes. Um, and yeah, just so that I can enjoy driving it, yeah. and remember the family as a family car that it was. Yes. Yeah. Well, and on 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 that note, uh, condolences for your dad uh, you, a, a few years ago, and I'm sure he's uh, looking down, appreciating everything you've he's done with this car. Falling away, Fletcher. Yeah. He really would. You yeah. reckon he would be? Yeah, I do. He was uh, he was into his cars. He had yeah. uh, the 26 Chevys and stuff like that. So yeah, he he, yeah. he did. He loved his cars. Yeah. yeah. So he would be he'd be smiling down, enjoying it. Yeah. So, uh, what month 70 are we looking at? Uh, I think it was August mm -hmm. 70. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, from memory, yeah. I think it was August. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he brought it. What happened? He, he was a shearer and he sure his first 200 sheep come in, and the car had been ordered, previously ordered for someone else who uh, who no longer wanted it. Yeah. Um, so it was brand new at Slow Gordos in Hamilton back then, and uh, Dad went in and, and brought it. So bless his heart, eh? 200 sheared sheep and he bought his Falcon. His first, uh, first brand new car is the Falcon, yep. Yep, that's right. They're great stories, aren't they? They are. And look, and look again, that's why, for me, this will then go down to my kids. Yeah. Because uh, that's just, I don't know, just yeah. the way it's been. There's a lot to be said for the sim simplicity too with these cars. Easy to maintain. Uh, and, and, and they are. Uh, bang for the buck. You get a lot from a car like this. Yeah, and look... It's all about smiles for me. I I'm, I'm, must admit, I'm probably the first to admit that I'm not the most knowledgeable man in cars, but again, as I keep saying, being the family thing that it was, it just, just brings smiles every time I drive it. Absolutely, and, and it doesn't matter if you're not mechanically minded. It's, a, it's about enjoying the car and what you just said, Brad, what they stand for and the enjoyment that you get out of that. And uh, that's, that's why you're here today. And thanks uh, for coming today. Also, for your help as well, you've um, been directing some traffic in yeah. here this morning? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, yeah, I just, I'm part of the car club that's putting this on. So, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's yeah. been good. Been really yeah. good seeing the cars. All right. Thanks again, Brad. Thanks, Fletch. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Good thanks, on. mate. And now it's time for this, what a unique car, a 1963 Hillman Minx convertible. How are you, Lisa? I'm really well, thanks, Fletch. How are you today? Good, thank you. You're having a ball, right? I'm having a great day and the sun's out. It's fantastic weather here in Portland. Absolutely. Now, I was trying to have a sandwich. Uh, Lisa came along and said, I want to be on the show. Gee, I want to be on the show, Fletch. Oh, she drove me mad. I want to be on, I want to be on. Anyway, I said, what have you got? And she said, I've got this, this, uh, this Hillman. And show me a photo. And I thought, hey, I don't think I've ever had one of these on Classic Restos before. It is a very uh, unique car. Uh, the Roots Group did the, did the Hillman. And um, so tell us the story, Lisa. How long have you had it? I've had the car for about five years. I saw it and absolutely had to, had to have it. Um, it is quite a unique car because six of them come into the country in 1964, early, um, early months of 64. So out of the six, this is uh, one of two that are remaining, but the other one is not on the road anymore. A couple of them were written off and a couple of them were sent to New Zealand. So I'm very, very fortunate to be the owner of this beautiful little car. 
Especially to the red interior. I just think that the, the white with the red, that colour combination is beautiful as well. Absolutely, and it's beautiful to drive. It's easy to drive. And for a 60-year-old car, I think she's really rocking it. Yeah, absolutely. And I like what you've done with that interior, with your seat covers, with the, the clear covers you've put on there as well. At first glance, they look like a factory thing. It doesn't matter that they're not, but it's all about preserving. And uh, it's still got that, it's got that, uh, the leather smell. It really does. And the old seat covers, um, I think, are fantastic. And there's only a few little bits of uh, chipped uh, colour. So by preserving them with the cover, it really looks after the vehicle. Absolutely. And we look at the styling of this car. Around the back, uh, interesting in the early 60s with the British car, uh, just some very subtle fins there to left and right. Almost uh, Cortina, you could go down that road. And inspired too by some of the, uh, the bigger American cars, and one comes to mind is a 1960 Buick. Now, you've bought it, uh, you've had it for a while, but you haven't driven it that much. So uh, what is the journey there, Lisa? Okay, so when I purchased her, she was in quite bad condition. Um, But all it was was a good scrub to get the interior back to a bit, original. bit of elbow, yeah. bit of elbow grease. Absolutely. Uh, the engine is perfect, what was running right from the beginning, uh, new tyres, but uh, all in all, it's been a fantastic journey, which I've enjoyed so much. And how cool are you? I, what, a, what a great, enjoyable little car for you. Oh, absolutely. And uh, just to think that it's a survivor. Lisa, thank you very much and uh, for bringing this great, this cute little car here to Portland for 2023. Um, And thank you for coming up to me and making yourself known to me. It's been a pleasure talking to you and having the car on this episode. Thanks, Lisa. Absolutely my pleasure. Thank you, Fletch. When I was a kid, I loved cars. Still do. The 57 Cadillac Eldorado Brown was the most advanced car in the world. Cost more than a Rolls. Hand built with a stainless steel roof, cruise control, electric seats, and would you believe, air suspension. American Iron. It's a passion Shannons understand. That's why they insure my daily drive, the caddy, my bike, even the house. Call Shannons on 13 46 46. Shannons. Insurance for motoring enthusiasts. They may not be making the classic Holden anymore, but the legacy lives on. You can still have a Holden certified service using genuine Holden and AC Delco quality parts at over 180 centres across Australia. Go to holden.com.au to find your nearest centre. Book your Holden in, maintain the pride. And of course, it goes without saying. If you own a classic, it just has to be insured with Shannon's. Why not pick up the phone and give Shannon's a call for a quote and a chat on 134646 and have a discussion to the Shannon's representative about the many products. Find the one that might suit you best. And also, the Shannon's Club awaits you as Australia's largest automotive online hub. For more information, visit shannons.com.au. Here we go, this bloke here does a wonderful job every year here at Portland, Craig Denert, Chief Organiser. How are you, mate? Ah, fantastic, Fletch. Uh, how couldn't you be on a day like this? About three quarters of the way through the day, that's when the pressure starts coming off, doesn't it? It, it is, even, even a bit earlier than that. Once you see them rolling in and you go, yep, it's, it's from now on, it's beyond our control, they're coming, yep. it just goes with the flow. And also to the variety, we say this every year um, because it happens every year, it's the variety. Look at the uh, cars that turn up here, the custom cars, the stock cars, uh, cars that have had new paint jobs, original cars, we've got the motorcycles as well. And of course the first year uh, here uh, for Nick and the Shannon Super Rig. Yeah, that's fantastic when uh, Nick, Nick showed up here, it's, um, yeah. Numbers mate, on last year, cars through the gate, how are we looking? Uh, 327 cars and motorbikes come through the gate today. Is that the biggest? Um, I think, 
I think it may be very close to our yeah. biggest one, yeah. but um, and, and a lot different, a lot of different vehicles to, yeah. to previously. Well, that's the thing too. That was my next question. Are you seeing cars you haven't seen before? Well, I've seen 17 Cadillacs that turned up this morning that I've yeah. never seen before for a start. But <laughs> I'd say there would be 30 or 40 new cars yeah, and you don't yeah. see that very often you yeah. might see five or six usually yeah. but the beautiful part about the portland show it's in a beautiful part of victoria so if you can get here in 2024 get here a couple of days before or stay a few days after uh check out the place have a drive around a little bit of a, a touristy thing take in the car show you won't go wrong and as for you it's always a pleasure mate ah uh, it's always a pleasure to have you here too fletch it's um it's always great to see yeah. you turn up I feel like an integral part of the operation. Oh, you're part of the family now, mate. <laughs> All right. Mate, keep up your great work. I'll let you get back to it, Craig. Thank you very much. All right, thank you, Fletch. Moving along to the next man. This is a car, or the type of car, that everyone wants. 1968 HK GTS Monaro. It's got the 307 Chevy V8, and it's an original car. I've just about ticked every box of every category there. You How are you, Tony? Yeah, good, mate. Good flat yourself. Good, mate. Good. How are you enjoying Portland for 2023? Oh, mate, absolutely beautiful show today. Yeah. Fantastic. I've never seen so many cars here in my life. And the quality of cars. Who wouldn't want this one behind us in their collection? What's the story, Tony? Oh, look, about nine years ago, I was, I was hunting around for a Monaro, and um, I had a look at a few, and then I went to actually purchase a few, and they were gone and uh, I couldn't work out why all these Monaros were going. And um, ended, ended up um, some guy that was starting a museum up over in uh, the western uh, eastern states and um, brought all the Monaros, the HK Monaros, all the Bathurst, everything, everything I was looking at were going. And uh, one of the first guys I, I asked about with, with this one, I uh, worked at the RAF base in Adelaide, um, said, yeah, well, look, I'll hang on to it for you if you want. And uh, I thought, oh, that'd be great if you could, because I needed a couple more weeks, because at that time it was still pretty expensive. And um, yeah, I was able to purchase it. And then uh, yeah, two weeks later, he rang me back and wanted it back. <laughs> and I asked him why. And apparently his dad owned, it was his dad's. He had two of them. So he uh, apparently talk, he talked to dad and um, he thought that dad and, and himself had come to an agreement that, um, yeah, okay, well, it's the best time we move them on. So I don't know, as you do, I suppose you sell dad's first. And um, it wasn't the real right idea for him. <laughs> So he offered a little bit more than I than I brought it for, and I said, "No, nah, I'm sorry, mate. You know, you yeah. can't have it." And, and his was sold for the next week. The winner is the grinner here, Tony. Um, Definitely, yeah. Beautiful car, and and of course too the uh, the five liter, the 307 Chevy. Yeah. Such a such a smooth performing engine as well. Oh, it's fantastic. I I drive it everywhere. I've, I've driven it to Colac, Warrnambool, uh, Mount Gambier for all the shows. Yeah. Um, I went to Adelaide. It's the sort of car where you what you turn the key, you put it in drive, and off you go. Off you go, yeah, yeah off you go. No, like, actually, uh, just last year, I changed the um, steel Welsh plugs out to brass. Wow. After yeah. fifty something years, yeah. Yeah. that's a testament. Yeah. And uh, on that note, earlier too, uh, with the put into drive and off you go, and an automatic car as well. Um, we look at the dashboard there again. The factory originality of this, it's just beautiful. Uh, the radio in there with the state with the stations relating to each state um wow it's uh it's a real time warp machine this one uh, even, even the rubber mats uh, from from um the showroom when they when they brought it yeah. still got the rubber mats it's still got the tags on the carpet yeah. also too tony love the venetian blind in back there and the original sticker there the yeah. united motors limited yeah. uh across the back screen starting to fade but it's there yeah. uh not even a reproduction has been put there that's the original sticker I actually tried to uh, retrace the history for Survivor magazine, yeah. um, and the actual original owner was a young young lad, about mm, 17, 18, and his dad went guarantor for him. And uh, on the original papers, it's got written across the actual original papers that uh, this this car belongs to the um, High Marsh Adelaide Bank of Australia, and um, that's all about. I know he was a dentist, yeah. drove it every day to work. Back in the day, it would have been the man driving the Monaro with the beautiful shiny teeth. Oh, exactly. Yeah, exactly right. I love the original wheel covers as well, Tony. Uh, you've got a set of those sitting on the steel wheels. Uh, wow, what, what more do we say? Uh, there's not much more to say, Fletch. It's just um, I'm, I'm very honoured to actually own it. Um, it's an amazing car. It really is, and it's one of a kind. It really is. A, a, it's a, a special order. The leader stripe, teal blue interior power steering and, and tow package and, and you won't find another one like it. Yeah, it's a high ticket item, isn't it? It certainly is, yeah, it certainly is. It's, it's something you don't find very often um, 
and, and when you do, it's very, there's a few of them very common, uh, but this one just stands out from the crowd. It's just very original yeah, and, and a special order. Tony, very impressed with the car. Thank you. A, original number plates too. Yes, they're all original, yep, from SA, yep. You got the original keys? You got the original keys, original plates, all the original uh, paperwork for it, everything. All right, well, because of this, obviously, uh, would you consider yourself a Holden legend by any chance? For sure, for right. sure. Okay, well, wow. hold that for me. From our great friends at General Motors Australia, I want to present you this Holden Legends pack. You can buy these online. Uh, they're a little bit special, and uh, I hope you enjoy that for your man cave. Thank you, Fletch. Thank you very much, guys. That's fantastic, mate. That's, wow, well, very impressed. Okay. Thank you very, very much. Yeah. Thank our, you. our pleasure. Oh, great. <laughs> well, there you go. Just some of the incredible Portland Classics by the Bay 2023. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you can put it in your diaries for 2024 and make the trip here to Portland, you'll be glad that you did. Until next week, no matter where you're watching Classic Restos from, please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch, and I thank you very much for watching. <laughs>